Good afternoon. This is Andrea. This is our Southern Nest Adventure. This is the Sunday edition, episode number two. Welcome one, welcome all. To all the new members, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and ring the bell. Today's guest is no other than, Carla, can you identify yourself? Emily as M's Gems. Uh, M's Gems. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to start uh, picking one uh, comment from last week's episode and see what we can add uh, to the comment. Emily, which one are you picking? Uh, we're picking Sarah Loves Reborns, and she says, As a new member to the doll collecting community, I have to say that I am very disappointed by the drama I see from others in the community. I was so excited to share a common interest and ideas, experiences. I no longer subscribe to channels who have paid subscriptions. Well, that's a good comment, right? Yes, I mean, that's it is. very I mean, good comment. Yeah. Very good um, subject to talk about. Exactly. I think that is the reason. One of the reasons why we are doing this Sunday editions is for the newcomers to kind of give them a heads up as to how this community works, the things to the pitfalls, the the, the good parts, the not so good parts, the things to watch out for, and to really dig into someone's channel a little bit before you follow them, before you buy from them, just to see what they're all about, what other people say about them, because it is very easily, it's a very easy, I don't want to say trap, but it's very easily to, to be blinded by the light of dolls that you love. Um, and you know, you all of a sudden you're like sucked into like a drama channel that you, you know, have a really hard time getting out of at the end. Um, yeah. So that's really what this is all about. We, I myself, don't believe in paying for a reborn doll channel to be watching. Uh, right? What about you, Emily? Uh, how, how uh, do you no feel? No way. No way. Especially in this uh, pandemic going on. Um, I wouldn't even pay if the pandemic wasn't around either. Uh, I think it's a waste of money. Yeah, because... Um, yeah, be and, it, and, it, and it, it shows kind of a clickish, you know, and people that can't afford it feels excluded, you know. Um, I think, I mean, there's a lot, I mean, I could understand maybe if it, um, they're showing a special painting or style or whatever, but you know that there's a lot of people that um, will, um, has devoted um, talks about the people in the community where they can't even defend themselves. The only way that you could see what is being said is being paid for, and I think that's a little shallow and I, st I just stay away. Um, I mean, I would rather spend my money on better use on better cause than than that. Right. I mean, I feel the same way. And and if we all did that, all I'd charge two dollars for our channels. You know, it's like it only takes. Let's say you you subscribe to ten channels. That's like twenty bucks. That's more. That's more than Netflix. That's, that's a little bit crazy. That's a little, that is a very, that is, the, you know, speaking of money. Okay, now let's talk about today's subject, which is um, uh, what kind of collector are you in the Reborn community? Um, are you, I've seen, I've only been in the Reborn community for a year. But I've been a collector for four years. Mm -hmm. So I have, you know, so I have um, gotten a lot of dolls and I sold a lot of dolls over the first year or two because I really didn't know what I wanted. I really didn't know what to expect because I never heard of a reborn before. So you make all kinds of mistakes the first year or two. Mm -hmm. After the first yes. year or two, I think you should know 
by then what you really want. And, That's right. Right? And That's right. So I don't understand the, the attraction of buying all these dolls just to sell them and, and you know, and not, not featuring them. And I can always tell when somebody does a box opening and they don't really like the baby. And I always say, it doesn't matter who is on the phone with me. I say, oh my God, that, that doll is gone tomorrow. They will never see that doll again. So, well, the, okay, now those types, I've seen those um, types around. Those are not true collectors. It's just for content. Um, you know, because everybody likes a box opening, right? You know, uh, I've seen um, so many people go in and out of a doll within a week and keep buying and keep buying and, you know, not realizing that once you buy a doll depreciates. So mm -hmm. they're really losing money if you think about it. Well, but I think the reason why they are, because what I've heard from other people in the community is the reason why they are not saying when they're doing the box opening, oh, this is not really my style. I really expected the baby to look different and I'm going to sell it on. There's very few people that say that. Uh, yeah. And the people that do say it, I really appreciate them because, you know, just because it's not your style doesn't mean it doesn't, it can't be somebody else's style. But, but when you do a box opening and you say, um, oh, I love it. Oh, this is my favorite. And look at the details and look at the hair and look at the rooting, look at the... You know, and then you, like, two months later, this baby is gone. You know, oh, you're like... Oh, yeah. yeah. what happened to it? <laughs> right. It's like, what? It's like, why? I thought this was, like, your favorite baby. I thought this was, like, you love this baby so much. This is, like, completely ridiculous. And, and the way I see it, this community, with the box openings, it, 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 it's all good and fine and dandy when you only have maybe 15, 20 channels that do that. But when you have a hundred, and out of the hundred, you have five or six that have weekly box openings. Even the box openings become boring because you can yeah. only because they and the and the dolls that they buy all look basically the same. They're all the same sculpts. They're all Russian artists. You know, I would have more, I think, respect for the for 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 for, for these channels if they really we're after the art. In other words, buy a really good artist baby from like um, Bianca Franke, um, Alexa Calvo, Jacqueline Kramer, you know, buy a $5,000 yeah. doll and then you have a perfect piece of art that you would never want to get rid of. You would never want to sell because this is right. a perfect baby. And then you see another one and you buy that one. And then by the time you're three or four, your collection is done. And then you can start talking about, you know, the clothes or what you buy for them. But it's not necessary, I think, to buy these thousand dollar dolls and then you sell them and you buy another thousand dollar dolls and you sell them. And what is the what are they trying to accomplish? I mean, I just don't get it. It's it's like it's like they are trying to 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 fulfill something in their life that they don't get anywhere else. I don't know. Um, I but I, mean, I have no idea. I mean, I, I couldn't I couldn't afford to. I mean, I mean, some people have you know uh, money to just blow out whatever. Some do that, but I just don't understand if you're going to get a doll and then, and you know, and gaga over it and then just get rid of it a week later and then just to get more. Um, I mean, that's, I, I, how can you, can't, how can you call them a, a collector um, when they do that? Um, I have no idea. Um, you know, like, what kind of collector am I? Um, I've always been a dog collector all my life. Mm -hmm. um, now, when I um, stumbled upon um, my Reborns uh, in 2012, but uh, officially in the uh, community since 2013, um, I, what I did... Because I watched videos, I watched a whole bunch of videos, and I watched ooh, that's a, um, that's a the bad box openings. Me. You know, I was like, ooh. So what I 
did was research um, the right artist. You know, I talked to several um, artists before I picked the ones, and I talked to the customers, and I looked at the reviews, um, and um, I talked to many customers before I bought um, and what their experience was, and they still have their dolls. And, um, see, you know, I had um, human dolls for years. You know, my very first one was a replica of my youngest. I did end up selling all my humans, but I had them for years. I mean, I, I kind of miss them, but, you know, <laughs> but it, I needed space, too. Um, and now um, I have my alternative dolls, and I chose them because, I, you know, I, I, I didn't, I never liked, I mean, I would gaga over the, you know, um, the, um, when they became popular, um, but once I seen everybody getting them, um, I, st I stay away from that, you know, because I, I want my collection, like, unique and not like everybody else's. Um, well, I think, uh, well, I think it's, 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 you know, it's, uh, to me, it's even different if you, if you buy, let's say you buy a doll that's got painted hair and then you decide you don't like painted hair and you sell this doll because you don't like painted hair and you get a rooted hair doll. That's a different story. Then you can say, you know what, I tried this, I, I or, or, or full limbs versus three quarter limbs. Um, yeah, you know, I those are things, that, yeah. you know, then you I, can, I, but if you buy the same sculpt, oh, it's going to be thundering here in a second. If you buy the same sculpt or identical sculpt, identical um, or from the same uh, sculptor, same artist, you know, they become rep repetitive, these repetitive, dogs. Repetitive, yeah. I mean, there's not, no diversity in it. Right. Yeah. And, and then to me, yeah. it, to me as a YouTube watcher, it becomes very boring to see yeah. these dolls because it's like if you have seen one or two or three, you've seen them all. Mm -hmm. And so I much rather see... Really, if you have the money, you know, which if you buy 30 dolls that are each worth $1,000, you can buy three dolls that are worth 5000 each and at least have a really good dog. I mean, an art, a piece of art. Yeah, and I think art. that's what, you're right, and that's what I'm here for. That's why I started my channel. That's why I'm in the YouTube community to learn, to see these really cool dolls and... The only one that I've seen that has collected that I've seen is that uh, Ward. She's on Instagram. You know the one from uh -huh. the the girl from uh, Saudi Arabia. She. Yeah. I had a conversation with her on WhatsApp a couple of times, and she has got the most amazing collection of um, uh, Bianca Franke, Alexa Calvo. Um, uh, I don't know if she's got um, Jacqueline Kramer doll. I think she does too. And for her, it would be so great for her to have a channel to really show us, like, in a video, like, what these dolls really look like in detail, you know, all the detailed veining and everything on a regular basis and see what these dolls look like in different clothing and different lights, you know, daylight and, you know, artificial lighting. And, you know, that would yeah. be cool. You know, that would be, to me, fantastic to see. But these other dolls, you know, it's like there are too many and they're all the same. And I think at this point, I think it's just, just basically for content because... That, that's um, what it is, is for content views, um, especially if they mo are monetized, they have to um, keep making these same videos over and over. I mean, I don't really... Like, if I watched... A, um, a reborn. I haven't really watched um, many reborn videos in a long time. Only, only a few. Um, I, I like the ones that you know that you can see the a video and there's like good topics. You know that's mm -hmm. interesting because you know it does get tiring. Like seeing um, box opening, uh, box opening when you just got one. I mean, if, I mean, if if you could have money to blow on reborns, go for it. I mean, to me, it's just oh, you know more cleaning you know that's why i kind of prefer you know um i had mohair and i liked the mohair you know because it feels real however i didn't like the maintenance that's right. another reason why that that's another reason why um mm -hmm. i prefer you know 
now I don't have that maintenance. And my other two dolls that I'm getting um, won't have hair. Um, one will have painted hair and one will be another baldy because I don't like the maintenance. You know, I would never own a silicone, never. Um, because of the high maintenance, yeah, you know, the, yeah, I, don't have that I would time, be, yeah, you know? I would be too. Just like, I mean, all these people that um, have these box openings, like that, you know, and then sells them right away. You know, that takes a lot of time. You know, to do those box openings and everything. Like, you know, so, sometimes it takes an hour. It depends how many presents. You know, but yet you're gonna get rid of it a week later. It just, I, it just gets old. It's yeah, like, it's like you need to, I mean, out. right, I, I think as a, as a collector, I think if you have a reborn channel, um, like for instance, you know, um, I, I started my reborn channel way before, I mean, way after I had dolls, you know, I had dolls like two years before I even started my reborn channel. But a lot of these people that buy these dolls are the people that started their channel, they st got the doll at the same time they got the channel so you know and they they say on tape in videos they don't interact with their adults unless they are on unless they're making a video so to me it's not even a collector or oh, do you hear the thunder it is gonna, it's gonna it is i'm sitting it is gonna crash here in a second i'm sitting in the backyard um nope. Yeah, it's Don't like I'm just <laughs> no, no. Forget about soaking. I'm worried about getting hit by lightning. What, yeah, that too. Having having my phone in my hand. Um, but uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Now, what was I? Uh, you were uh, you were saying. Um, uh, <laughs> you hear the thunder. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, what, what was you say? Okay, we were talking about. Um, uh, it's it's you know to me to me when you have a when you have a channel and you know you you are a collector fine be a collector you know of 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 you know like of lesser value babies and but you interact with them you enjoy the hobby you enjoy playing with them because this is like that brings out the inner child in you fantastic but then don't say well I only interact with them when I'm on my YouTube channel what kind of hobby is that. You know, to yeah. me, that doesn't make any sense. Or you can say, I like the, the hobby for the art. And then if you like it for the art, you buy the most, the most realistic doll you can possibly find. And you save for it, and then you will never get rid of this doll. But the way right. it is right now, it's like so topsy-turvy, crazy. It's like it doesn't make any sense what these people are doing. And then that's all I wanted to really say before I get hit by lightning. How long yeah, have you been on? It's I, been I, like I, I really don't understand that. You know, I, a true collector will get the the most. Um, uh, the, I rather spend more money on a good quality and, and have less than um, a whole bunch of um, ones that look the same. You know. Well, you know what? If that's I mean, if that's what. Granted, uh, the dolls that I have now, the Reborns, do come from one artist. You know, um, I find her work amazing. I mean, there's all other artists that are amazing, too, um, that does alternatives. It's just that I happen to <laughs> like Bean's work. Um, and I'm only getting two more, and I'm, I'm never going to get rid of them. I ended up getting my rid of my um, humans only because... Hey Emily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say goodbye here because this is, these storm clouds are rolling in. It's getting really dark here. And okay, well, I'm, it was a good show. Thank you so much for having me. And ooh, it was, hear that? Huh? Do you hear the thunder? Yeah. It's gonna come rolling in here. I better get my buddy in the house. Anyway, uh, Emily, listen. Thank you so much for for joining me today. And well, thank um, you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. I have a good weekend. You too. Take bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for, um, for watching. As you can tell, we are about to get hit here in a second, and I'm holding a phone. So I'm going to say goodbye. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.